Shalom Israel, Most High Christ Bless. This is 15 Minutes with the Captain. I am Captain Amaziah. With oh, me I have... Officer Yuri, Shalom. Today I have Officer Yuri with me. Alright, today's topic, today's topic. We're going to smash another Christian lie. Another Christian misinterpretation of the scriptures. The topic is, I will bless them that bless thee and curse them that curse thee. What does it mean? Because Christians take that as... Okay, if you bless the Jewish people, you're going to be blessed. If you curse the Jewish people, the, the so-called fake Jews, that you're going to be cursed if you, if you curse them. That's not what that scripture is talking about. It ain't talking nothing to do with no fake Jews, no converts, no Jewish, Israelites, none of that stuff. No Jew, wish I was a Jew, people, none of that garbage did. Let's find out what it's talking about. Let's read it. Genesis 12 and 1. We're going to start in the book of Genesis chapter 12 and verse 1. Genesis chapter 12 verse 1 Now the Lord has said unto Abram So now we're talking about our forefather Abram Read Get thee out of thy country And from thy kindred And from thy father's house Unto a land that I will show thee When you read Joshua chapter 24 verse 2 It tells you why the Most High commanded That Abraham leave, Abraham leave his father's house Because his father's house and his father, they were worshiping idols. They were into idolatry, other gods. So the Lord told Abraham, separate from your father's house. Move away. Go ahead. And I will make of thee a great nation. So now, the Lord tells Abraham, I'm going to make you a great nation. Keep in mind to verse 2. Verse 2 is really what verse 3 is talking about. It's talking about the seed of Abraham. The seed of Abraham. Read. And I will bless thee. I'm going to bless thee. Is that talking about Abraham personally or his seed? It's talking about his seed. Read. And I will make of thee a great nation and I will bless thee uh -huh. and make thy name great. I'm going to make thy name great, Abraham. Read. And thou shalt be a blessing. And what? And thou shalt be a blessing. You're going to be a blessing, Abraham. Read. And I will bless them that bless thee. Uh-huh. And curse him that curseth thee. I'm going to bless them that bless you, Abraham, and curse them that curse you, Abraham. Read. And in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. So that's the proof. It's talking about the seed of Abraham. Not necessarily Abraham himself. Read it again, verse 3. And I will bless them that bless thee. Read. And curse him that curseth thee. Read. And in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. Let's go to Revelations 1 and 3. We're going to go the long way. Revelations 1 and 3. We're going to, we're going to, we have only 15 minutes and we're going to go through the, the precepts pretty quickly. Okay? Read. Revelation chapter 1 verse 3. Blessed is he that readeth. The Bible says blessed is he that readeth. Read. And they that hear the words of this prophecy. And keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. Matthew 5 and 3. We're going to read 5 and 3 through 9, real quick. So the Bible says, Blesses he that reads, reads, you got to read in context, right? And the proper precepts to go with that. Read. Matthew chapter 5, verse 3. Blessed are the poor in spirit, uh -huh. for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Read. Blessed are they that mourn. For they shall be comforted. Blessed are they that mourn, they shall be comforted. Read. Blessed are the meek. Blessed are the meek to the scriptures. You're, you are supposed to be humble, meek to the scriptures. Whatever the scriptures say, you do. Read. For they shall inherit the earth. If you do that, you're going to inherit everlasting life. Read. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness. Hunger and thirst after God's laws. Read. For they shall be filled. We're going to be filled. Read. Blessed are the merciful. Blessed are those that show mercy to their brothers and sisters. Read. For they shall obtain mercy. That's the ones that are going to get mercy. Read. Blessed are the pure in heart. Blessed are the pure in spirit and mind. Read. For they shall see God. Read. Blessed are the peacemakers. Blessed are the peacemakers, brothers and sisters. Not the ones that want to always get vengeance and hold on to grudges. Read. For they shall be called the children of God. Let's go to Exodus 23 and 20. So we read about a couple different blessings. Blessings for the nation of Israel, right? Out of Christ's mouth, we went to Revelation 1 3. Blessed are they that read. Let's go. Exodus 23 and 20. Exodus chapter 23, verse 20. Behold, I send an angel before thee uh -huh. to keep thee in the way uh -huh. and to bring thee into the place 
which I have prepared. This is the children of Israel in the wilderness. Read. Beware of him. Beware of that angel, children of Israel. And obey his voice. Obey his voice. Provoke him not. Don't provoke him by breaking the, God's laws. For he will not pardon your transgressions. Uh-huh. For my name is in him. My name is in him. Read. But if thou shalt indeed obey his voice. If you in, if, if you indeed obey his voice. Remember, in, in um, Deuteronomy 20 and 15, if you don't hearken unto the voice of the Lord, curses are going to come upon you. In verse 1, it says, if you do hearken, you're going to get the blessings. Read. And do all that I speak, then I will be an enemy unto thine enemy. So now, the Bible says, I'm going to be an enemy to your enemies when you do what the Lord said to do. That's a blessing for the nation of Israel. Read. And... An adversary unto thine adversary. And I'm going to be an adversary to your adversaries. Let's go to Isaiah 34 and 1. Let's go to Isaiah 34 verse 1. So the Lord said, I'm going to be an enemy to your enemies. Who's your enemies? The other nations. Those are the ones that oppress you. Right? Verse 1 through 2. Isaiah chapter 34 verse 1. We're going to read about one now. Blessing. And one way the Lord is an enemy, can be an enemy. To, the, uh, to one particular nation. Read. Come near, ye nations, to hear. And hearken, ye people. Read. Let the earth hear. Let and, the earth hear. And all that is therein. Read. The world. And all things that come forth of it. Uh-huh. For the indignation of the Lord is upon all nations. So the Bible says the indignation of the Lord is upon all nations. Read. And his fury upon all their armies. Read. He hath utterly destroyed them. This is future prophecy. Read. He hath delivered them to the slaughter. Jump to verse 5. Verse 5. Jump to verse 4. Verse 4. And all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved. All the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved. Your satellites up there. Your weapons of war up there. Read. And the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll. Uh-huh. That's nuclear fire, brothers and sisters. That mushroom cloud. Read. And all their hosts shall fall down. As the leaf falleth off from the vine. Read. And as a falling fig from the fig tree. Read. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. So the Bible says, my sword shall, my sword shall be bathed in heaven. This is our hell, brothers and sisters. Whose heaven do we live in? Who's the dominant society? Esau, Edom, Idumia. It's so-called white men, a Caucasian race. They, this is their heaven. This is your hell. Read that again. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. The Bible says, my sword shall be bathed in heaven. In his heaven, read. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia. So here's the curse for those that curse you, Israel. It says what? It shall come down upon Idumia. Who, Idumia is a Greek word for Edom. Who's Edom? The so-called white man today. Read on. And upon the people of my curse. Of what? My curse. Of the people of, and upon the people of my curse. Curse them. I'm going to curse them that curse you. Read on. To judgment. They're going to get judgment. Let's go to Zechariah 14 and 16. Let's get a little more. We only got 15 minutes. We're going to rush through this. Zechariah 14, 16 through 17. Zechariah chapter 14, verse 16. And it shall come to pass that every one that is left of all the nations which came against Jerusalem shall even go up from year to year to worship the king, the Lord of hosts, and to keep the feast of tabernacles. Read. And it shall be that whoso will not come up of all the families of the earth unto Jerusalem to worship the king, the Lord of hosts, even upon them shall be no rain. There you go another curse. If you don't have no water, what's going to happen? You're going to die. Your land is desolate. You have nothing. Famine. Let's go to Isaiah 16 and 12. That will be another curse for the nations that curse us. Okay. Let's go to Isaiah 60 verse 12. Isaiah chapter 60 verse 12. For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. That's pretty plain, right? Is that a good thing for the other nations or a bad thing? That is a curse for the other nations. They're going to be forced to serve you, brothers and sisters. That's what they're going to be forced to do. They're going to be forced to serve you. Read. Yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. That's what the Bible says. What's the precept? Zechariah 14 and 16. We just read no rain. You're not gonna. You're re, you're gonna have no resources. You're gonna die. Let's go to Proverbs twenty nine and two. The book of Proverbs twenty nine verse two. Proverbs chapter twenty nine, 
Verse 2, read. When the righteous are in authority. The Bible says, brothers and sisters, when the righteous are in authority. Who's the righteous? Those that got God's law and keep God's law. This is in the kingdom now. It says what? When the righteous are in authority. When the righteous are in rulership. When they're governing the entire planet Earth, read the people rejoice. See what the Bible says: the people will rejoice at you. Read, but when the wicked beareth rule. However, when the wicked bear rule, when they're in authority, the people mourn. The people mourn. Let's go to Acts three twenty-five. So that would be a blessing for Israel to be in authority, following God's laws. That's a blessing. Read Acts chapter three, verse twenty-five. Ye are the children of the prophets. The Bible says, ye are the children of the prophets. Read. And of the covenant, uh -huh. which God made with our fathers. That God made with our fathers started with Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. And God said to them, bless them that bless thee. I'm going to bless them that bless thee. And I'm going to curse them that curse you. Read. Say unto Abraham. Read. And in thy seed shall all the kindreds of the earth be blessed. See what the Bible says? In your seed, Abraham, all the kindreds of the earth shall be blessed. Read. Unto you first, God, having raised up his son, Jesus. Here goes another blessing for the nation of Israel. What was the blessing? Jesus being raised up for the nation of Israel to do what? Sent him to bless you. Sent him to bless you in turning away every one of you from his iniquity. So that's another blessing for Israel, being turned away. Christ Sent for you, dying for you to be turned away from your <coughs> sin. Let's go to Luke 21 and 24. So we read some, some blessings. We read some curses for the other nation. Let's see if some curses for Israel. Luke chapter 21 verse 24. Read. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword. Who shall fall? The Israelites shall fall by the edge of the sword. Read. And shall be led away captive into all nations. See that? And will be led away captive. Transatlantic slave trade. Sub-Saharan slave trade. Read. In Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles uh -huh. until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. Until the time of the Gentiles shall be fulfilled. Give me, jump to verse 22. Read verse 22. Verse 22. For these be the days of vengeance. These be the days of vengeance on Israel. That all things which are written. All things that are written, brothers and sisters. May be fulfilled. And what was fulfilled against us? Deuteronomy chapter 28 verses 15 through 68. Those are the curses for Israel. Okay? Now, judgment has to also pass on the nations that God used to judge Israel for those curses. Now, remember, the nations took it too far when you read Ezekiel 35. They took it too far. James 101. Let's get another curse. Let's see if this is a good thing or a bad thing. James chapter 1 verse 1. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh -huh. to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad. We just read the same thing in Luke 21 and 24. We were scattered in slavery. We had to run out of Jerusalem in 70 AD because the Romans were going to destroy it. Read. Greetings. Greetings. Let's go to Deuteronomy 4.27. Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 27. Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 27. And the Lord shall scatter you among the nations. See, we went to the Old Testament. We went to the New Testament. Now we're back in Deuteronomy, right? Read. And ye shall be left few in number among the heathen. See that? And you're going to be left few. In These are curses now for Israel. Now let's go to the precept for Genesis 12 and verse 3. Let's go to Numbers 24. We're going to read verses 1 through 9. Numbers 24. Numbers chapter 24 verse 1 And when Balaam Saw that it pleased the Lord To bless Israel To do what to Israel? To bless Israel So the Lord Balaam So it pleased It pleased the Lord To bless Israel When you read Numbers 23 You will see that Balak Was trying to curse Use Balaam to curse Israel When you read Numbers 23 When you get a chance Read it Numbers chapter 23 Read and when Balaam saw that it pleased the Lord to bless Israel, uh -huh. he went not, he went not, as at other times, to seek for enchantments, but he set his face toward the wilderness. Remember, so Balak was using Balaam to curse Israel, and none of it worked. Read Numbers 23, 23 real quick. Numbers chapter 23, verse 23. 
Surely there is no enchantment against Jacob, neither is there any divination against Israel. According to this time, it shall be said of Jacob and Israel, what hath God wrought? Go back to Numbers 23, verse 2. Numbers chapter 24, 24, verse 2. And Balaam lifted up his You want verse 1? No, verse 2. Go ahead. And Balaam lifted up his eyes, and he saw Israel abiding in his tents, according to their tribes. And the Spirit of God came upon him. Uh -huh. And he took up his parable and said, Balaam, the son of Beor, has said, and the man whose eyes are open have said, He has said, which heard the words of God, which saw the vision of the Almighty, falling into a trance, but having his eyes open. Falling into a trance, <coughs> having his eyes open. Read. How goodly are thy tents, O Jacob, and thy tabernacles, O Israel. Read. As the valleys are they spread forth, as gardens by the river's side. Read. As the trees are of lime aloes. Of lime aloes which the Lord hath planted. Read. And as cedars beside the waters. Go ahead. He shall pour the water out of his buckets. And his seed shall be in many waters. His seed shall be in many waters. Spread out. Scattered throughout the, the globe. Throughout the earth. Read. As you read in, in Deuteronomy 4.27. Luke 21 and 24. James 1 and 1. Read. And his king shall be higher than Agag. His king shall be higher than Agag. Christ. Read. And his kingdom shall be exalted. Read. God brought him forth out of Egypt. God brought Israel forth out of Egypt. He had, he had as it were, the strength of a unicorn. That unicorn relates to a rhinoceros. Read. He shall eat up the nations his enemies. Israel shall eat up the nations his enemies. Not his friends, his buddies. Read. And shall break their bones. So here's the prophecy. Shall break their bones. Read. And pierced them through with his arrows. Destroy the other nation. That's what the that's what Balaam in the spirit is saying. Read. He couched. He lay down as a lion. He couched. Israel couched. He laid down as a what? As a lion. Uh huh. And as a great lion. Uh huh. Who shall stir him up? Who shall stir Israel up? Does this sound familiar? Because we this is a precept for how we find out who the tribe of Judah is. But guess what? We just found out all twelve tribes are represented as the lion. Yes, that's what we just read. Go ahead. Blessed is he that blesseth thee. What did the Bible say? Blessed is he that blesseth thee. Uh huh. And cursed is he that curseth thee. So that is the proper precept, brother, for Gen Genesis chapter twelve, verse two. Blessed he that blessed thee. Cursed is cursed is he that curseth thee. Right there, we read it in Numbers chapter twenty-four and verse nine. It's relating to. Israel. The blessing is for the nation of Israel. There's no divination against Israel. And with that, Israel, I'm Captain Amaziah. Officer Yuri. And we say Shalom. Shalom. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, 
Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.